Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. All right, so this week we wanted to talk about buses, yes. electric buses. I love taking the bus. I don't. Well, I mean, I, I haven't taken the bus much, I'll be honest. That's probably why I, I like it too. I've <laughs> always lived in the suburbs and there's just no buses anywhere. Yeah, buses are noisy and they vibrate That's a lot. True. I mean, I will say that I don't like being near buses. Right, you don't like, like, exactly, because they smell when they go by and they they're smell, noisy. They're loud, they're just... Well, these buses that I want to talk about, there's two cities. There's the city and- A in, tale of two cities. A tale of two cities. Um, both are doing great things. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about, this is a city in China. It's Guangdong province of China. It's Shenzhen. And it's a city of 11.9 million residents. Wow, that's a lot it's of people. It's gigantic. Yeah. Um, the other city I want to talk about is Los Angeles, which okay. is another gigantic it's, city. Millions and millions of people. It's mind-bogglingly big, yes. Here's the funny thing. Mm -hmm. LA has a very small fleet of buses. Okay, how many were we talking like? couple thousand like that's what i thought what okay well how many 350 what yeah that sounds seems like a small city would have that it sounds like boston would have that many right and then guess how many buses are in shenzhen 400 14,000. you mean 1400 no 14,000. 14,000 buses yeah. that's a lot more yeah so the first part of this tale is that why viewers why are the two cities, which are kind of close in size in mm -hmm. terms of people, um, why is there such a huge, vast difference in the number of public transportation buses? I mean, I LA doesn't have a big subway system. It has a tiny subway. I think uh, you're forgetting the car. Everyone in LA has a car. Mm. It's the city of cars. It's That's the, true. the automobile It's very city. spread out. It was designed for automobiles. Right. Even though it has terrible, awful traffic. Well, so get this. Why this is why we're talking about this on this mm -hmm. channel is that Shenzhen, starting in 2011, started to electrify their fleet. Yes. And they are the home of BYD. Mm -hmm. You know what BYD stands for? Uh, bring your own darn electric vehicles. Close. No? What bring your bring your dreams. Bring your dreams. It's pretty cool. Interesting. Anyway, it's the home of BYD, and so uh, they've been electrifying since 2011. They're gonna be done electrifying at the end of this year. 14,000 buses are going to be electric. Look at this. That's, okay, that's not, that's not 14,000 buses. No, I just, but. I just counted, it's not 14,000. No, 000. but I mean this, I No, 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 I, I get that it must have been incredibly difficult to get just that many buses all in one place. And, and that's astounding number of electric buses. I, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped about that. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. I'm really stoked for the city, like they're, just changing their fleet to electric buses is gonna make a huge difference on their pollution. Yes. So in LA, the city council just voted to electrify their, their buses. So the 350 buses, they want them all to be electric by 2025. Wow, it just, it's so much less exciting when it's like, you're throwing all these numbers at me like 350 and 2025. I mean, it's like, whatever. Oh, yeah. that's it. I, yeah, and I mean, I guess that's kind of the point of this is that what's been going on in other parts of the world that we hardly ever hear about mm -hmm. is amazing. This has been going on for six years, right? And they they're just doing it, right? Like, why aren't we doing it? I think it's because we don't see the adverse health effects as much. I, I think mean, you just that's it right there. If you could see death coming out of a diesel engine, then right. we would race to fix this problem. But because it just gets diffused into the air and we don't see the particles that are killing us. We don't care. Until it's awful, until it is just right. so awful that you're like, we have to actually do something about this, guys. You may not be able to see and taste and, and chew on the pollution uh, that's around you all the time, but it's there. If you yeah. live anywhere near a highway, which you probably do, it's there. Mm -hmm. There's diesel trucks all over the place, and even petrol cars are not clean by any stretch of the imagination. And we're just talking about tailpipe emissions. I mean, they are not clean at all, and you know you should protect yourself from this kind of stuff. Yeah, and if you live in anywhere in the world, you mm -hmm. should use these two examples to go to your local governments and say, hey, these two cities can do it on huge scales. Mm -hmm. Let's get our city, no matter how big or small, to electrify our buses. Yep. Can be done. Obviously, look at Shenzhen. They're doing it on a huge scale. Let's do it, people. Let's do it. All right, so thank you so much for watching this episode of In-Depth. We really hope that you enjoyed it. We wanted to really get in-depth and take a look at this amazing feat that uh, 
the city in China has been doing. Yeah, and comment below if you have a story about your where you live in your corner of the world, whether your city is going electric or whether you'd like to go electric. We want to learn more, so please let us know. And also your best bus story. For those of you in New York, I'm sure you have plenty of great ones. Uh, just buses in general, as long as the bus is somewhere in the picture of this story, I want to hear about it in the comments because that's going to be fun. There's no limit to how long you can write this. So, wow. writers of the world, <laughs> just go at it. And, you know, and people, if, you're, if you want, just go down and read in the comments and let's start voting those up. So if you give them a thumbs up, they go higher on the list. Oh, that's so let's, cool. let's pick like the best story. All right, I want to read a good bus story next I, week. Uh, that could make a comment of the week. Yeah, it could be or it could <laughs> just be gross. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and like the video as well because then it, it goes up somewhere. Somewhere in the world it goes up and somebody, gets to, somebody else gets to see it. All right, thank you so much for watching. Now you know. know.